since vanished. Well, coming up next, I talk with veteran South Florida health care pro Stan McKnight, who specializes in treatments. And in an interview taped earlier, I asked Stan what his treatment center called The Palms was all about. The Palms Medical Detox is a um, three-bed or three-room suite uh, portion of the Newbern Suites, which is the concierge level at Good Samaritan Medical Center. It's on the fifth floor, overlooks uh, the Intercoastal and the Breakers and Palm Beach. Terrific view. Great view. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it is basically... Uh, centered uh, for the executive or for the person who is um, having some problems, uh, physical problems, as a result of uh, taking too much uh, alcohol or uh, pain medication uh, or mixing it with other medications and they're beginning to feel to the the effects, the physical effects, whereas if they try to stop on their own, they get terrible side effects and withdrawal symptoms. And so what we do is we treat the uh, withdrawal symptoms on the unit yeah. and uh, make sure that there's no seizures and no strokes and, yeah. and no physical problems from a person who's trying to get off of uh, prescription drugs or alcohol. Well, is it all done, under, uh, obviously, is it just done under uh, medical supervision? Oh, absolutely. It's done by internal medicine doctors at Good Samaritan Hospital under the nurses uh, are all the telemedicine trained uh, CCU nurses and um, the rooms are uh, like five-star hotel rooms uh, the only thing that you wouldn't be able to tell except there is a hospital bed in the room and uh, that's because we have to monitor the patients when they're right. there the best part for the patient is uh, the they don't experience any of the withdrawal symptoms and uh, they get good night's sleep while they're there and that's something that they haven't been experiencing as a result of trying to get off the medication or the alcohol well that's, that's pretty neat because withdrawal can be brutal at times you know it's pretty uh, you know and, and it's also life-threatening yeah it's very life-threatening and people who have gone through it have said to me that they they, th they thought they were dying as um, the heart races um, there's a certain amount of uh, discomfort with diarrhea with nausea and you feel like you're crawling out of your skin and uh, the only way that you can stop that is to continue using the drugs or the alcohol yeah. to stop it so it's a it's a tough cycle to be in well with, without uh, divulging any confidentialities who who usually are the patients what kind of uh, our patients are uh, usually executives CEOs uh, professionals um, attorneys other doctors people who um, for whatever reason have uh, have found themselves either recovering from surgery and were taking a lot of pain medication and as they try to get off the pain medication they start experiencing these withdrawal symptoms uh, or people who have taken too much alcohol and, an, and another a lot of seniors uh, are on prescription medication or taking medication yeah. because of uh, aches and pains or just getting older. And uh, when they uh, drink alcohol with these medications, it causes an adverse reaction. And uh, it has nothing to do with someone diagnosing a person as an alcoholic. It's just simply mixing alcohol with other medications can be uh, fatal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so what we do is we do a complete test of, of the patient that's there. We do com uh, massive blood work. We do... Um, uh, chest x-ray we do an EKG we're testing the heart the liver to make sure that everything is in good shape and then if it's not we can uh, yeah, refer them to and treat them well how did uh, uh, Good Sam uh, come up with it, this idea uh, I went to Good Sam I've, I've been in the field of, uh, of uh, recovery for 18 years and uh, I went to Good Sam and uh, and explained to them that there was a need uh, for this type of program and um, the, the management there um, was very great in, in understanding the dilemma that I said people were in so they opened it two years ago and uh, we we don't advertise a lot because we protect our right. patients and sure. confidentially uh, confidentiality yeah. of them so not too many people know about it but uh, the public has this right sure. people in treatment centers and people that want to send someone to detox before they go to treatment send them to us and then we just get patients locally that uh, are having these bad reactions to uh, and don't know what's going on and, uh, and so we yeah. can treat them well you know that's you know providing a service you know you get a CEO or chief financial officer some big corporation anywhere in the world mm -hmm. or primarily the United States 
and he comes up with this with uh, this drug and alcohol problem, and it has to be addressed. And you, you, you can come into South Florida and say he's on a vacation or we something. We get a lot of people and, from uh, the get Northeast. get treated on Right. Uh, CEOs that come in and just tell their secretary, I'm going to Palm Beach for three days, four days. And they bring their laptop and they bring their cell phone. They conduct business um, if they want to. Most of the time they're sleeping. Uh, yeah. But uh, absolutely, it's confidential. We have our own separate entrance. You don't go through the hospital. You don't go through admitting. You're admitted right in the room. And it's total confidentiality. The patient's names aren't even on the chart. They're uh, uh, it's that confidential. Well, that you know, that's that's really a, ter a terrific service for the international business community. Oh, absolutely. You know, you know and that way, rather than than going into a 30-day or two-month, very costly uh, rehab. Well, uh, this can uh, we treat wonders. We treat only the physical symptoms of withdrawal. Uh, we don't treat um, any of the. Uh, uh, the, the alcoholism or substance abuse uh, we're strictly a medical detox so that's also something that I want to stress because uh, yes. pe you know a lot of people are leery especially the CEOs and the CFOs they're leery of saying I need to go to a treatment center because they're not so sure that they have a problem they just have this physical malady that they can't get rid of and, and the only way that they can feel comfortable is to continue taking the drugs or alcohol right. that they're on doesn't mean that they're alcoholic or a drug addict it simply means fix something that's going on in their body right. so so, okay, so they walk out of there, at least they're physically... Feel great. Feel great. And Absolutely. then it's up to them. Right. If they uh, continue yeah. going back and doing what they were doing, then they've uh, just wasted their time yeah, and right. effort and money to yeah. clean up. Uh, but, you know, it is up to them. But what we treat is just the physical side of it. All righty. Well, listen, Stanley Knight, God bless you. This is a terrific concept. and You brought it up, and uh, Good Sam followed through with it. I mean, that's terrific. They're pioneers at Good Sam. I have to thank them a lot. Okay. Glad to be here. Thank you, David. All right. And